Hi everyone, my name is Ashish. I'm a junior doctor working in the UK. I recently asked on my Instagram page whether it is possible to predict the tertiary or 3D structure of a protein from its primary structure or not. And these were your responses. In this video, we will talk about the correct answer to this. And this is going to be very interesting. Let's start. Let's start with the basics. What are proteins? So proteins are large molecules that are formed from chains of amino acids. And these are the 20 amino acids that form proteins. So these amino acids combine in a chain form or like beads on a string. And this is the primary structure of a protein. Now, what do proteins do in our body? Proteins form structural components, for example, collagen, which is one of the very important structural protein in our body. The next function is that protein acts as enzymes and they catalyze different and important chemical reactions in our bodies. The next one is that proteins are important parts of immune cells and they help fight infection. After that, proteins can be functioning as hormones in our bodies, such as oxytocin and growth hormone. And when we look at proteins, there are 20,000 different proteins in human body and they perform very, very important functions and they are very, very abundant in the whole animal kingdom and in the plant kingdom and in different living organisms. So proteins are actually very, very important macromolecules. Let's talk about the protein structure. So when amino acids combine together, they form the primary structure and this is like beads on string. So they form linear or chain like structures and when these chains fold up in helices or in form of sheets, then this is the secondary structure. After that, these fold together and they form the 3D structure of the protein, which is like a ball with different kinds of shapes and different kinds of crevices for different molecules to fit in so that the protein can perform its function. And this is the tertiary structure of the protein. And after that, different tertiary structures combine together and they may combine with other macromolecules and they form the quaternary structure. And this is the functional structure of the protein that does all the different functions. The next question is, where do proteins come from? So all the proteins come from DNA. DNA leads to formation of RNA, through a process called transcription. And this RNA is then translated into the primary structure of a protein. So proteins come from a genetic code that is the DNA. Great. Now that we understand the basics, let's talk about the main question, whether it is possible to predict the 3D structure or the tertiary structure of a protein from its primary structure or not. When the primary structure starts folding because of lots and lots of degrees of freedom there can be an astronomical number of possible conformations that can arise from a primary structure and one of the figures says that it can be up to 10 to the power of 300 possibilities now protein folding is a very common process in our cells and small proteins can fold in a very, very short duration of time. That can be a few microseconds. So how is this that when a protein in our cell starts folding, it always reaches the same 3D structure. And that is the power of nature. That is the power of physics. And this is a paradox that is called Leventhal's paradox. Now we know that it's very difficult to find the 3D structure of a protein from its primary structure. So if we want to find about the 3D structure of a protein, what do we do? One of the common 
techniques to find the 3D structure is called X-ray crystallography. Now it starts with editing some genes in a bacteria so that this bacteria starts making a lot of the protein of our interest. This protein is then taken out from the test tubes and it is crystallized and X-rays are then passed through these protein crystals and these patterns are formed. And these patterns are studied to find out the 3D structure of a protein. Now this process can be very time consuming and a lot of times it can be very difficult to crystallize newer proteins of interest. Also this process is very very expensive and it can cost about a few hundred thousand pounds or dollars. So this is not a very good technique overall. Because it is such a big challenge to find out about the 3D structure of a protein, there is a worldwide competition that is called Critical Assessment of Protein Structure Prediction or CASP and this happens every two years and in this different kinds of teams of scientists come together and they try to predict the 3D structure of 100 protein sequences and the accuracy of prediction is measured by something called GDT or global distance test and this scores the accuracy from 0 to 100 and this can be thought of as the percent of amino acid residues within a threshold distance from the correct position so if you have a team which finds a protein structure and it has a very high GDT this means that they are very very close to the actual structure of this protein and their predictions are very very accurate. Now the CAS competition is running from 1994 and the predictions of various teams were very very low but something miraculous happened in 2018 and this was published in Forbes. The headline was AlphaFold is the most important achievement in AI ever and this is a big headline. So what is AlphaFold? AlphaFold is an AI algorithm that is developed by DeepMind that is a company in the UK started by Dr. Demis Hassabis and when you see the results of CASP you will see that AlphaFold won this competition in 2018 and this model was improved and it won this competition again in 2020. You can see that these are the two structures of two different kinds of proteins and the first one is in green and this is the actual structure predicted after different kinds of experiments such as x-ray crystallography and the blue one on top of that is the computational prediction that is given by AlphaFold and you can see that the GDT is more than 90 and this is an impressive result. How does AlphaFold 1 works? So AlphaFold 1 first reads the sequence of amino acids in the primary structure of a protein then it tries to find matches to the sequence in different genetic databases all of this information is then combined and it is fed into a neural network and this neural network gives two predictions the first one is distance predictions that is the distance between different amino acids in the 3d structure and the second one is the angle predictions that is the psi and phi angles between different amino acids in a 3d structure so when it first gives a prediction this is not very accurate so what this model does is it tries to find the error that is between its predicted structure and the actual structure and then it tries to update itself by a method called gradient descent and then it reaches a state where it can predict really really well and this is how AlphaFold 1 works. This is the detailed structure of AlphaFold 1. So in short what happens is you try to 
find the matches of your sequences in your primary structure with sequences in a genetic database which is available online and you feed all of this data into a deep residual network and then you combine this information with different physical forces such as van der Waal forces and then you try to reach the prediction now this is a complicated model and if you are someone new to ai then you won't be able to understand it so don't be a lot worried about it but if you want me to make a video of the complete detailed structure please leave a comment for me in this video and i will try to do that for you in order to see how accurate our predictions are what we do is we make 2d graphs from these 3d structures of protein and then we see how close the predicted amino acids are to the actual position of amino acids in a protein of interest and these are different kinds of graphs that can come out so the first graph shows the ground truth the second row shows the predicted distance of different amino acids and in the third one you can see the 3d structured where the ground truth is shown by green color and the predicted results are shown in blue color and then they are superimposed so you can see that how close the predictions are to the actual structure of this protein this is the structure of the new alpha fold or alpha fold 2 and i'll be honest this is a very complicated structure so what they did is they trained this model on publicly available data sets consisting of about 170,000 proteins and this was done using very very high computational power and these computers trained for many many weeks before they became really good and they started predicting these proteins with a very high accuracy and this alpha fold 2 model is amazing it uses so many new concepts such as attention layers and it can be really really daunting if you are someone new to ai but again if you want me to make another video talking about this in detail i'll do that so this is alpha fold 2. now what is good about all of this why do we need to find the 3d structure of proteins this is because proteins play a very vital role in our life for example if someone has a genetic mutation that will lead to a bad protein being formed from the dna and this protein will cause lots and lots of diseases and if we want to study this disease then we'll have to find the 3d structure of this protein and alpha fold will help us do this in a very very short duration of time and what alpha fold has done recently it has actually given us a whole database of all the proteins in our human body and in different related organisms and this is such amazing work this will help us to study the pathophysiology of diseases find new drug targets make new medications it will also help us to make new enzymes for example this bacteria was recently discovered in japan and this bacteria can degrade polythene and if we need to study the enzyme that can degrade polythene then we'll have to take it out we'll have to find its 3d structure then modify it to make it faster and if we can do it with the help of alpha fold then this will actually solve this climate problem and this can be amazing so alpha fold has so many applications and i'm really really excited i hope that you are excited as well and thanks a lot for watching this video